Many people have bashed the Trackmaster Glyn for reasons such as it's too boxy or it's just the worst thing ever created by a human being. But whilst those are valid takes, I would like to shed light on some of Glyn's highs rather than his shortcomings. So the Trackmaster Glyn was released in 2015 for the film The Adventure Begins, along with the original Thomas. Whilst the aforementioned model was a stock standard Thomas recolor, Glyn was not. Kind of. So why do people dislike him so much? Well, the reason that pops up most often is that he's a literal box. In the show, he's a coffee pot engine, but translating that into a motorized toy is, well, impossible. Trackmaster got around this by coloring bits of the engine in black to symbolize empty space. This brings out some fine details that you wouldn't see in any normal Trackmaster product, such as levers, whistles, and others. Other complaints about this model are that his wheels are black and not red, and that he's ridiculously squashed, especially his vertical boiler. Well, the wheels actually suit him better than red ones in my opinion. With the correct colours, he looks extremely out of whack with all the red already on the model. About the boiler, would you prefer an extremely tall engine that won't fit under tunnels, or one that does and still regains the essence of a boiler? Another thing to note is that the buffers are painted. You don't see any original Thomas with black buffers now, do you now? Glyn also got some epic rolling stock, namely a brown cargo slate truck and a green barrel slate truck. He may not have pulled them in the film, but some rolling stock is better than none, right? The face is also spectacular and hey, you better enjoy it while it lasts because no other range ever made him and those eBay prices are steep. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video and that I helped recognize the hidden beauty of Glyn. So subscribe for more and if this video reaches 300 likes, then I will literally buy a Glyn and review him. So.